everybody. Thanks for joining me on my channel today with Amy's Creative Acrylics. I'm Amy. Hello, hello. Today I'm going to do a quick little video on how I make my magnets. Um, these ones are a little bit smaller than what I normally do use. Um, but that's okay. They're still going to be adorable. And I got these from BB Craft. Um, I'll put the link in the description below, um, so you can check out their website. They are a really awesome um, website for crafting things. I mean, they have a little bit of everything. They even have some, that's where I got those palette knives that I got, that I did a review on not too long ago. And um, also those crystals that I got that I made the with the geo that I made. Um, and then these, I mean, they literally have so much crafting stuff, to, um, kits and tools and just a little bit of everything, um, paints. Um, yeah, so, but I will definitely put the link in the description below. So, what I use is, I use this diamond glaze for the glue. Um, it dries clear. Um, I want to make sure that I can get, <clears throat> it dries clear and, and it, and it adheres really fast. I usually use some runoffs. This happened to be one that I had like in a little dustpan. This is just some little runoffs that I get from different paintings. Um, and so you just take your glue and you don't need a lot of it I usually just put a little dab in the middle and then I just decide where I want to put it in and I set it in there really good and then I let this dry I leave it dry for 24 hours I honestly don't think you need to leave it as long um, but I just prefer to leave it that long just to make sure that it is in there good um usually i fill up my skin with you know just you kind of try to find areas that you like the most and these are i really like these they're really good i mean it's kind of hard to see because they're a little bit smaller than normal but they are pretty clear um, when you put them on it's kind of cool how um, it kind of brings your piece I'm going to show you this. Like, look at how pretty that is through there. And it just kind of gives it that extra pop to shine it right through. So these are really nice. Um, I think next time I order some from them, I'm going to get some a little bit bigger than this size. Um, I kind of like a bigger size on my magnets, but these ones are going to be adorable. Like, I think everybody loves magnets. <laughs> <laughs> I normally make these magnets for when I do the craft festivals. Um, I have like a little gift bag, like a little tiny bag um, that I put like my business card in. And, and I put in a couple magnets as like a free little, free little gift. Um, you know... And then I also sell them also too. So you can do both. Um, I'll show you some of the ones that I have that are a little bit bigger. Different ones that I've made. Just different runoffs. They're literally the same thing. Just a bigger um, cabochon. Is that, I'm not sure if that's exactly how you say it, but... <laughs> <laughs> but I I love doing these. These are super fun because you can get some really pretty ones out of your runoffs. And then, like, all your runoffs aren't going to waste. Um, I, sometimes I like to try to get my runoffs, you know, and I scrape it into a container. And then I use it for um, another pour for, like, the base color or something like that. But you just push it down 
and yeah I think they're super pretty um so I definitely like these um so as far as giving in a good review for these I definitely would do that they are um, I'm really happy with them I just wish they were a little bit bigger I think I'm gonna do something in a painting as well to kind of just do some really fun embellishment with them so I'm definitely gonna do that as well with these um but majority of them I will use for magnets um so once this is dry you just cut around and then you just glue your magnet on the back most of the time I get magnets that have like um a sticky side to it where you can just peel it off and then just adhere that right to the to the back of your your paint to the back of this that you cut off so yeah, so these are from BB Craft. Um, I definitely would recommend. I mean, they're good quality. I'm very happy with them. They have amazing prices. Shipping has always been, when I um, ordered these, I got them fairly quick. I mean, I don't know now, like, you know, with the whole shipping <laughs> issues but I honestly had no issue um, getting these at all whatsoever so I definitely would recommend these I will put BB craft in the description um, a link to their website so you can check these out or you know if you want to just look at the whole website itself and see if there's anything else that you would like um, I can check to see Sometimes they have some good, they, I mean, they, they always have good deals going on and their prices are really amazing. Um, um, I'll have to check to see if I have any um, coupons, which I'm not sure if they do. The last time I checked, um, it was just um, like their, their like seasonal sales. So um, yeah, check them out. They're a really good company. Um, I do recommend, I, I like um their website and like I said they have some really cool stuff there <clears throat> for crafting and <clears throat> I'm really happy with the three products that I have gotten from them were these the um the garnet crystals and the palette knives and y'all know I love 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 my palette knives um you can see some of them are <laughs> very well used already <laughs> um and they're still very good quality, very sturdy. I'm really, really happy with them. The garnets were gorgeous, um, very beautiful crystals. And I'm really happy with these. But I do think next time I order some, I am going to get them a little bit bigger. Just, But it's kind of cool to have a variety of sizes. You can use these for also jewelry making. Um, I'm not a person who makes jewelry as of now but not saying that would never happen in the future i've seen some lots of people who use their runoffs um and use these for making earrings and necklaces and bracelets and all that stuff so you never know we may do that one sometime but um i just wanted to do a quick video on these for um these cabochons i hope i say that right <laughs> um but yeah check out bb craft um it's a really cool company to, um, if you're interested in finding some new crafting things. Um, there's a few people on YouTube that um, do a reviews for BB Craft. Um, a couple people that I know of anyway. And they do all kinds of stuff. I mean, it's there's so much to choose from. So, with that being said, I would definitely give... A good rating for this a good review um, I'm really happy with them they're gonna make adorable 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 I can cut one out here just to kind of show you um, <clears throat> like I said normally I like to try to leave it set for 24 hours but you just literally cut around <clears throat> and this one's definitely not dry I shouldn't have done this one but just cut around your glass there. And then once it's 100% dry, you just 
glue your magnet to the back and there you go look at that how adorable that is I am obsessed they're so cute I can tell you right now my daughter's gonna want to be taking all these because she loves magnets and these are really cute <laughs> so yeah so check them out BB craft I will put their link in the description and yeah with that being said I do thank everybody for watching um, I hope you enjoyed the video and you will like, subscribe, and share, and all that fun stuff that we have to say. Or I guess we don't have to say it, but I guess we probably should say it. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah. So um, thanks again for watching, everybody. Have a good day. Have a good evening. And keep being creative. Bye.